going on guys i'm here back with a trouble breaker season 5 video and in today's video we're going to be going over the recent patch notes that were dropped and there's a lot dude there's actually a lot a lot of things that i did not think that they would adjust that they uh ended up adjusting so let's go ahead and take a look at the patch notes shall we so uh the new raiders zamasu and goku black arrive two of them coordinate to cover survivor or corner survivors as a double raider if the raider uh is zamasu goku black the super transfer is introduced in season four will appear during battle. Oh, I understand what they're saying. I thought they mean, like, literally the specific characters, like Goku, Vegeta, and Gogeta. But they just mean, like, the super transfers that were introduced. This time, they will only appear twice per match, so players will need to come up with new strategies. After clearing certain conditions, Trunks will send super transfers a total of two times. The character you can change into, very, uh, into varies depending on the super transfer obtained. And there's Rage Trunks and um, the Vegeta Blue. New Battlefield Dark Future arrives. The present and future collide on this awesome new map. Experience the strong contrast between the uh, verdant and lush present area and the devastated future area. Crossplay implemented. It is now possible to match with players on different platforms. Play with friends and new rivals across multiple platforms. Enjoy playing with friends on other platforms and matching with a much wider pool of players. Crossplay can be turned on or off in options, and players with different crossplay settings cannot be matched together. Season 5 rank matches come mid-April. During... Oh, wait. Mid-April? The hell? Next month is March. Alright, okay. During the ranking period, you can earn points from wins and losses in online matches, as well as the medals obtained after a match. After accumulating enough rank points, you will be promoted to a higher rank, with rewards being distributed based on the highest rank achieved during the ranking period. And for the top ranks to get fantastic rewards, rewards will be calculated and distributed after the season ends. How the reward Raider, Raider Z5 tank uh, t-shirt, season 5. We've seen this before, so it's just basically Zamasu on this one. This is just hitting, um, so this is hitting rank Z, this is Z5. The Z5 shirt's always clear. Um, not really a big fan of the Jocko, which they did, uh, honestly, I would have liked my Poir, honestly, better if they'd, like, swap these. But, you know, is what it is. Friend feature arrives. In the room menu or online match results screen, friend request, you can send a friend request, and if it's accepted, you will become friends with the player you sent it to. Friend requests uh, sent to you can be confirmed from the social screen. From there, select friend request to accept or deny. Make friends with lots of players and expand your breaker circle. So essentially, if you guys want to do this in-game, um, like say if someone is on another platform and you want to friend them, like before I was just playing um, with Nano and Slay, Nano was playing on PC, so say if I wanted to uh, friend him, I would go in this list, and I would go over his name, and you would be able to uh, select add friend. I can't really show you, you kind of just got to take my word for it, but you can select uh, people in this list up here, and if, you're in, if they're in your party, you can friend them like that. And uh, to show you guys the friend list, this is where it is, it's in options, then you hit triangle, and uh, these are your friends. So I'm friends with Slay who's on PlayStation, and you can see people that you played with before, um, and others. So, like, yeah, this person added me. They're on another platform. I can add them if I like. But, yeah, that's how uh, that works. Alrighty, moving right along here. Block list introduced from the front feature. You can actually check current block players and even unblock players in the block list section. Okay, so I guess um, they're kind of just throwing the report feature out the window, or at least they're not taking it, or I don't know. It seems like you can just block people, so even if the reporting doesn't work, you'd always just block someone that way you don't got to play them again. So if there is somebody cheating or hacking or whatever, you could just block them. Uh, we have add a function to preview the principal rewards on the dragon to your screen. Someone to the shop screen, hovering uh, the cursor over reward will display a preview on the left side of the screen, and custom voices can be played. Main in-game adjustments and specific changes. The flex raider slash survivor option has been removed from the role selection screen. Interesting. I mean, if we look at the way the game is currently, uh, there's only the option for uh, Survivor Q and Raider Flex. They don't even have a uh, Flex Survivor, which I'm not really sure why that was ever an option in the first place. So you can either choose to be a Survivor or choose to gain priority to play Raider. That, those are the only two options that they have. It takes uh, one minute or less, which is very good Q time. Alrighty, using the Super Attack... Uh, during Ultimate Dragon Change will now reduce the limit gauge. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So th this is something that isn't just exclusive to Vegito 
and uh, Trunks, it looks like. So I'll definitely have to relook at uh, Gogeta and the rest of them just to see uh, how well they fare now with this uh, new system. Limit gauge will be reduced by less than uh, when using the Super Tech during normal Dragon Change, and as previously, it will not be depleted by time or normal key attacks. Added a signal for food being placed by the active skill Cook. Added unique signals for each type of vending machine. When using the skill Head Start X to bring items, you will now start the battle with two of the relevant items in your possession. Oh, okay. They know that there's goofy goobers out there that don't even pick up their Head Start items. If you have three or more skills of this type equipped, relevant items with your first two skills selectable you place in your inventory, and the remaining items will be placed on the ground in front of you of your avatar when the match begins. An online match when the opponent is a raider whose HP can be changed by swapping out of recovery. The versus raider medal that survivors can't obtain will depend on the raider's overall HP at the last evolution stage they achieve. So it seems like if you defeated one uh, you know, part of a raider or if you did a lot of damage to one part of the raider, so say for example Goldo, I guess you got like a diamond um, versus raider medal. They're changing it that way. It's based upon like how much damage you deal not based on how da how much damage you deal on a small health pool now they're making it more um universal if that makes any sense at least that's what i'm getting from that the following strike based transfer super attacks have been changed to allow uh evasion during their charge oh that's that's actually really good so now gigantic church a uh, gigantic church gigantic charge apocalyptic burst fierce fist can now be canceled if you dodge that's very good that's very good that should have always been a thing in my opinion the resistance of Super Attack Fierce Fist uh, to Raiders' attacks have been equalized with other strike-based transfers to Super Attack, such as Kyokin Assault. I didn't realize there was a slight difference in that. Change the knockback direction of the transfer Super Attack Gigantic Meteor and shorten the time required before another action can be taken after the execution of the Super Attack. They're buffing Gigantic Meteor? I kind of like the fact that if you miss, you're just like, Oh, oh, I kind of like that, but um, they're buffing the move. I'm very surprised by that, dude. Raiders, it's tough out here, man. Just the active skill shape shift camouflage so that the contact with lava on the dangerous ground battlefield will revert the effect of the skill. Interesting. That's a slight nerf, but very niche nerf. Adjusted the active skill shape shift missile so the proximity to the lava on dangerous grounds battlefield will no, no longer revert the effect of the active skill. Okay, so slight buff to missile, slight nerf to camouflage. Very interesting. Made changes to active skills that depend on the view orientation of targeted characters such as charming pose and solar flare so that they take a, uh, the affected character's vertical facing into account. Interesting. Okay. Adjusted the active skill zipline device to increase the range and make it easier to install on clips. Zipline device is actually not that bad. I think a lot of people, myself included, really sleep on the skill. Uh, it is quite good, dude. So they're buffing it here is a little interesting to me. I definitely want to try it out again. Adjust to the passive skill. Mid-air jump so that survivors with this skill may no longer jump in the air when the jump button is pressed while moving with this skill. Active skill grappling device. Interesting. I guess you could jump after a grapple. It's just the fortune teller. Baba survivors can see that landing on the ground after ascending... After ascending a cliff while floating will no longer halt the ascent, even if the jump input continues to be pressed. I don't know what that means. Someone explain that in the comments to me. I'm, I'm sorry. May fix it so that when a survivor is defeated above the water in a stage, they will now sink to the bottom of the water without being slowly, slowed by the water surface. Oh, okay, okay. So now they just sink to the bottom instead of slowly falling. Interesting. Added an, uh, added an automatically responding destructible object in Area X in practice. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. I don't know why they added that, but it's a thing. The falling raiders have been adjusted based on current battle statistics. Hey, guys. For everybody saying that raiders are OP, uh, and I don't think they would be giving them buffs if based on the current battle statistics, survivors were losing all the time. Morons. Sorry, I probably should have said that before reading the actual adjustments because they could have nerfed the Raiders as well. So let me... Let... <laughs> Anyways. All right, increase the hit detection box size of Evolution States. Interesting. Cell's Key Blast at level 3 are some of the easiest to dodge in the entire game. So I'm very curious if this makes it more difficult. Increase the distance from which it is possible to lock onto survivors. 
They're making Cell a sniper then. Damn. Increase the distance required for the lock on to a survivor to automatically disengage. Oh, okay. That's how they're that's how they're balancing it. So you can lock on from further away, but if you lose lock on, it happens faster. Okay. Adjust the passive skill key control for evolution stages two to four to reduce the amount of time the radar is detected by survivor active skills to slow up the and key detection. Okay, so apparently you'll be able to detect the raiders less with those skills. I don't really think many people are doing that, but okay. Adjusted to close range attacks at evolution to, uh, stage two so that when attacking a survivor that is using dragon change in certain types of terrain, those survivors will be knocked back instead of staying still. Adjusted to super attack, all cleared evolution stage four so that when the large scale attack does not land and survivors are hit by the subsequent key blasts or explosions, the distance they are knocked back will be consistent. Okay. Um, so slight buffs on cell. Um, no real nerfs. Just seems like, you know, fixes or like slight buffs or just straight up buffs. Again, you know, it's survivor's weak crowd. I, I don't know, buddy. Increase the evolution energy received when delivering the finishing blow to civilians who do not have dragon balls. Wow. Wow. That is interesting. I think for level 1 freeze, I think he needs like 5 sieves if they don't have dragon balls. Um, if they're like normal humies, but obviously if you have the Namekian boost, that might be different. I could be wrong on that. But this is going to make that Frieza passive better. That uh, Say if a Namekian doesn't have a dragon ball, you actually get a boost of evolution. Um, So this means you're going to get an extra boost to that, which is wild. Free That's a massive Frieza buff. Massive. Increase the strengthening effect of the passive skill. You really know how to piss me off. Uh, let me see what that is. Yo! So hold up. We're, I'm going to reread this for you guys. They slightly increase the evolution energy received when delivering the fin finishing blow to civilians who do not have Dragon Balls. And they're increasing the strengthening effect of the passive skill. You really know how to piss me off. Guess what you really know how to piss me off does? When you deliver a finishing blow to the Nekamine without a Dragon Ball, your evolution increases greatly. So they're increasing the gain on this. And overall, they're increasing if you find somebody without a Dragon Ball. That is a double buff to this passive. Oh, I gotta try Freeze out again, bro. I'm curious if he needs like two Nekamines without Dragon Balls to hit level two. Listen, listen. Clearly, I think Raiders need some help. I don't know about this one, Chief. I don't know about this one. That that is an interesting one. That is definitely an interesting one. Very, very interesting. We'll we'll see if they uh keep that one. All right. Uh slightly reduced evolution energy required for So you know what it is? You know what they probably found? You see? You guys thought I was bad with Frieza. I, mean, I don't think many people thought I was that bad, but I thought I was bad with Frieza. Apparently, the devs also agreed that people were struggling to get out of level 1 with Frieza. So, they're clear, they, they clearly knew and clearly Frieza's were getting screwed over at level 1 based on the current battle statistics. So, what does this mean? That they're making it easier to get out of level 1 for Frieza because they're making it less evolution required to get stage 2. And, oh, okay. So, so for every, every survivor, you know, guy freaking out... They're increasing the evolution energy required for stage three and four. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I think that's fair. I think, you know, level two Frieza is decent enough where you can carry, but if you're in level one, you will absolutely get cocked. So I think this is fair. If they're going to make it easier to get level two, making it more difficult to get three and four makes sense. Guys, listen, to yo, Breaker's Dev Team. I like it. I like it, bro. Slightly shortened cooldown time for super attacks, debt, and crazy. All right, maybe I dabbed y'all up a little preemptively. <laughs> maybe I dabbed them up a little preemptively. So these are the super attacks. Brother, the cool... Oh, I think that this is what it is now. I was going to say it's already eight seconds. So I, don't, I forget what it was before. It's eight seconds now. This is 13. Uh, this super attack shreds, dude. Uh, this is a very deadly super attack. And this one, you know, is okay. Uh, but this one is very deadly. Very interesting. Very interesting. So clearly they thought even Frieza needed help. So. 
I, bro, so many uh, people are, some people are going to be really upset by this. I, I, listen, we'll see how it is first before we complain. I think writers needed buffs. I do think writers needed some help, dude. I, I'm telling you, I think they did. Uh, and it seems like part of the way they're helping some out is the evolution increase, at least with Frieza. All right, so for Boo, we don't have much. We have increased the projectile speed and hit detection uh, zone box of evolution to normal key attack. Um... All right, sorry about that. I had to check something really quick. Uh, increase the projectile speed and hit detection zone box evolution uh, stage two normal key attack. So they're buffing um the hitbox of Boo's uh, level two key blast. Interesting. I mean, for people that you know would freak out about this, keep in mind you can counter level two Boo's key blast. You can, you can do that. So increase the speed bonus granted by centering the camera on a survival ball moving towards them at evolution stage two. So they're increasing Boo's speed. Interesting. Increased distance from which it is possible to lock on survivors at evolution stage two and four. So they're uh, allowing Boo to uh, be faster and he's able to lock on to survivors um, from a greater distance and they're increasing the hitbox of his key blast. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Um, we don't know how crazy the speed boost is, but, uh, you know, that is that is definitely something significant. That is something significant, especially if they're increasing the speed and the distance where you can lock on. So I'm curious how much that's going to play. Wow, Vegeta got one. Okay. Uh, Ready, Vegeta. Adjusted evolution stage four so that any vehicles or vending machines walked over by Vegeta will be destroyed. Wow. I was really hoping they would adjust uh, Great Ape's hitbox because you can't even vanish kick behind his tail anymore. I really don't like the changes they did to Great Ape, but I guess they wanted to make it like you get Great Ape, you win, which is, I guess, fine. But Broly, I think Broly got the most out of... Actually, Sal and Broly got about the same. All right. Shorter duration of the animation lock after activating stage two through four active skill gigantic power. So just to uh, give you guys a refresher of what skill that is, I believe that's Broly's break strike. Yeah, so that's um, basically, I think what they're trying to say here is, yeah, they're um, decreasing the lock and making it uh, more difficult for survivors to hit Broly with a super after he activates this. Uh, increase the invincibility period. Literally. Literally. So it seems like uh, because they, they realize that once Broly used... That's why I didn't like to use gigantic power in firefights because you pop this, yes, you get buffed, but you are free to being hit by like multiple super attacks. So I think that is a good change for Broly. I don't think you should be punished for using a break strike in my opinion. Um, especially when Broly has such long cooldowns on them. Uh, using a skill evading uh, will cancel this ability, period. And so if you don't move, you will have the invincibility. If you, um, if you move or evade uh, or use a skill, you will lose the invincibility, period. Just an evolution stage, 2 through 4 active skill, gigantic power. So allow the user to evade earlier than when the animation lock ends. Yeah, they're, they're literally just making it so people can't uh, hit Broly as easily when he uses gigantic power. I think that's a good change. I personally think that's a good change. Adjusted the active skill Blaster Meteor at Evolution Stage 3, as well as the active skill Omega Blaster Evolution uh, Stage 3 through 4, so that while the barrier granted by these uh, skills is active, if a survivor hits the uh, would advantage with the barrier will explode, damaging the survivor. Yes, yeah, so if you guys don't know, there was a secret tech. I pulled it off like once or twice. You were able to vanish kick the barrier and take zero damage. They removed that. <laughs> they removed that. They caught on quick. Adjusted the active skill Blaster Meteor at Evolution Stage 3, as well as the active skill Mega Blaster, so that if Broly hits a survivor with a vanish move while the barrier uh, granted by these skills is active, the barrier will not break. So if you vanish counter with Broly with the barrier up, it does not break. That is kind of crazy. So if you're a Broly seeing someone going and someone's trying to hit you with a melee to get rid of your barrier, you could vanish kick them and keep your barrier. That is a little crazy. I kind of like that because that takes skill, right? You know, a vanish counter takes skill. So if it takes skill to keep your barrier, I, I'm a fan of that personally. But you guys let me know in the comments below what you think of that. All right, made the following adjustments to the super attacks of certain transfers. Transfer super attack super kamehameha. Includes the super attack uh, of the super transfer that appears during the matches against Raider Broly, which allows players to transform into a super saiyan god, super saiyan goku. So that means, um, you know, the level three... Super Transfer that you get, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku one. Increase the attack startup time and time required before another action can be performed. Projectile speed and hit detection box size increase. So it looks like they're making uh, Super Kamehameha faster. They're increasing the hitbox and they're getting rid of the end lag. 
So uh, I definitely want to try out Super Kamehameha again because that was mainly the reasons why I did not like the move. It took way too long to charge up and the damage uh, wasn't that great for the charge up in my opinion. Um, and I found it missed half the time. So uh, I think that's a good change. Transfer Super Attack, perfect Kamehameha. It's funny, I was literally using this the other day. Increase the startup time. Same thing as perfect or uh, Super Kamehameha. Projectile speed and hitbox detection size increase. Visual effects adjusted. Okay, interesting. Oh, I guess the same thing for this. I guess they're just making it look different. Transfer Super Attack, Super Gallic Gun, decrease... Uh, really? I don't even think Super Gallic Gun had that long of a startup. I'm curious if it looks different in the previews. I mean, I won't really be able to... T I mean, I feel like I wouldn't really remember, personally. But I'm curious to see if the Super Attacks actually look different. Let's pull up uh, a Super Kamehameha. I, maybe, maybe they did change it. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Let's look at cells. That's fast. Yeah, they changed it. That is way fast. Dude, this this one was long, bro. I mean, the end lag is still long on it. But it definitely comes out a lot faster, which is very interesting. Okay. Okay, they're making those moves better. Good. So if you guys have never watched my um, Super Saiyan Goku showcase, I highly recommend you to watch it. I did a showcase of Warp Kamehameha, one of the funniest showcases ever. Um, it was so bad. It was so... It's still bad. I mean, well, actually, maybe not anymore. Let's see what they do here. Adjust the lock-on to not disengage if the target moves out of the range between activating the technique and warping. Does not apply to movement during air destruction. All right, Warp Kamehameha buff. Maybe it's good now, bro. It's one of the worst. Uh, transfer Super Attack, Father Son Kamehameha, Projectile Speed, and Hit Detection box size increased. Huh. They don't say decrease attack startup time, though. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, it's a shame because Father Son Kamehameha is really one of the uh, most, you know, popular moves in Dragon Ball, like, like ever, right? So, actually, we're going over here. My bad. Uh, hold on, let me find him. My dumbass, here he is. Okay. Yeah, like that startup. Mm -mm -mm, man, I don't know. I mean, I get it because it's cinematic, but it's just not good in like a competitive like aspect. Wow, there's more. This is massive, dude. This is a beefy video. I hope you guys got a snack, bro. This is a beefy ass video. All right, these are all bug fixes. Future fixes. Okay. All right. Fixed an issue where a raider would not be knocked back when uh, receiving close range attacks or, or certain close range super attacks from a survivor. Never survivor attack at them at the same time. Interesting. I think this is when, um, say, if you hit a raider with two melees, like one is hitting from the front, one is hitting from the back. Pause. Um... I believe the Raider would be getting hit by both of them at the same time. I think they're removing that is what I'm getting from that. May fixes so that when a survivor is sent flying horizontally one near the ground during Dragon Change, they will no longer immediately land on the ground. Okay. Fix an issue where sometimes a survivor vanish move would not land against the Raider being knocked back uh, with its back turned. I hope this might actually fix the fake death combo. This might actually fix the fake death combo because all those times you guys see me miss might be because of that issue. It might not be a skill issue on my part. Maybe it's just the game. Fixed an issue where after a survivor uses dragon chains about detecting uh, the radar of the screen effects signifying the radars outside the screen will not occur. Whatever. That's whatever. Fixed an issue where the flying set effect will not play when a survivor flies vertically during dragon change. Interesting. Uh, fixed an issue where holding the item help button without any items in the player's position would cause the player to become unable to interact with objects. Jesus, glad they fixed that. Fixed an issue where the effect from barrier recovery device item or bear auto recovery passive skill would activate after receiving certain attacks even if the barrier was destroyed. Oh, yeah, I think this did happen with some players. Yes, yeah, so they took that out. So basically, you would take a hit, but like you wouldn't take a hit, is what would happen. Fix an issue where the game would allow players to uh, move to interact with objects during certain damage reactions after being hit with certain attacks such as Solar Flare. Interesting. Fix an issue where changing the item in Survivor's Possession mid-air while jumping after grabbing a wall would allow the player to grab the wall again immediately. Damn. They did uh, change that. that. That was an old tech. I feel like that was a really old tech that they moved. Alright. Uh, oh. Oh, actually I almost missed this one. 
Fixing issue where during uh, dragging chains with Pan GT transfer, pressing and holding the jump command while ascending or double jumping the button in midair while descending would prevent the player from attacking. Fixing issue where the final blow of the consecutive justice combination super attack could be dodged just before the hit, depending on the factors. Such wow, okay. Fix an issue where the zipline active skill be deployed uh, to an unintended location. Fix an issue where the active skill instant rise would get caught on certain objects and the player would be unable to move upwards. Fix an issue where if uh, the active skill the savior is calm was used while the raider and survivor had their backs turned to each other, it would unintentionally hit the raider. Uh, made fixes to the shocking speed passes skill so it auto activated correctly. It will be active cr crouching or swimming. Oh, I mean, I never used that passive. That's how Gogeta's passive that works when uh, the ETM is out. Fix an issue where the vehicle scan dragon was equipped when landing or jumping on a metal surface. A sound effect would not play. Weird bug. I uh, made fixes with that one at evolution uh, stage 4. Raider Vegeta uses ultimate super attacks for mouth cannon. The screen darkens for survivors and Raider like it does when other Raider... Okay, interesting. They fixed that. Fix an issue where Raider was hit by skills that restrict Raider's actions uh, and make it possible to increase how much the knockback gauge is depleted while in effect. Slowly. Interesting. Okay, I guess someone would be they would be stuck in the stun uh basically there. Fix an issue where the raider sell Regito were at evolution stage one the sound effect from when they try to scale or use wall kick on the lava uh waterfall map giving contagious grounds but those states would not play. Okay. Fix an issue where survivor uh who was hit mid-air dragon chains by certain Texas as regular key blast. From evolution stage, so it would fall unnaturally. Fix an issue where when Raider Frieza delivered a finishing blow to Namekian and attained a Dragon Ball, the sound effect for obtaining a Dragon Ball would also play for survivors. Oh, that wasn't intended. Bro, that's been a thing since launch. There was like a little ping that you would hear of survivors when uh, Frieza got a Dragon Ball. Wow, they got rid of that. It's a uh, Frieza buff indirectly. Uh, made fixes so that the blast from Raider uh, Boo's Evolution Stage 3 Super Attack Ill Rain would split into three regardless of how many survivors uh, are being. Oh, wow. Wow. So that is a massive nerf, I feel like, to that move. Because part of the move is like throwing it and seeing like which ones would follow and which ones wouldn't. Maybe, that, maybe I'm making that more than it is, but that doesn't sound that great. Interesting. Fix an issue where firing key blasts while moving backwards as Raider Vegeta would cause the blast to fire from position lower than the cursor located. Okay. Fix an issue where if a different character appearing under the conditions outlined below executed a close range attack. Because the survivor using Dragon Change and the Dragon Change limit gauge reads zero during the attack. Dragon Change would end before survivors see the final blow of the attack. Oh, this is a, uh, this is a Ginyu nerf. Birder when deployed from Jason Birder's close range attack. All right, let me read this again. Fix an issue if a different uh if a different character appearing on the conditions outlined. Okay, blah 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 blah. Execute a close range attack against a survivor using dragon change and the dragon change limit page zero during the attack. Interesting. So basically, what would used to happen is if you got meleeed by Birder uh or Raccoon, um you would just instantly get downed. I believe. Uh. Okay, maybe this is different. Raccoon when deployed from Jason Burger's close range attack. Raccoon when deployed from Ginyu's close range attack. And so, yeah, I guess it seems like at this point, now you will not be uh, killed if you get caught in a melee um, at the end of your dragon change by uh, Ginyu. I, I, what I'm getting from that, I could be wrong, but that's actually a Ginyu nerf. Fix an issue where key blasts that are fired by Raider Raccoon while moving to the right would fire higher than the cursor. Fix an issue where uh, during collisions between the charge motion and certain super attacks used by the Raider, close range attacks used by a survivor using a dragon chain of a higher level, the Raider would unintentionally perform a counter attack motion and the super attack would not hit. Interesting. Fix an issue in which this falling attacks from the Raider outlined below would not hit survivors from a certain period of time if they execute after the Raider made constant with the trap device active skill. Oh, okay. Various Raiders close range super uh, close range attacks. Wait. Let's see where the following attacks from the Raiders outlined below. They were executed. Raiders in his illusion. Alright. I guess this means that trap device won't work if you throw it over. I'm not sure what that means. Wait, what? So we're following the test Raiders.
Yeah, I guess you could use the trap device as like a shield, I guess. All right, so this is the future fixes. Fixes. The following will be corrected in a future update. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience caused. Kindly ask for your patience until the bug, uh, the fixes have been made. Players will receive a room invitation from someone who is not their friend on either Steam or Nintendo Switch. Platforms will not receive a notification when the invitation is set from the front feature of Rebel the Breakers. Okay, that's it, dude. Um, I am thirsty as hell from looking at all of this. This was massive, dude. We had Raider buffs, uh, some Raider nerfs. Um, that's the thing, though. Like, survivors weren't nerfed here. It was really just like, uh, you know, Raiders got buffed and survivors got buffed. That's kind of like really all that happened. Um, besides, I guess, like the super transfer uh, changes. Like, I don't really see any crazy nerfs to survivors or like any crazy uh, like nerfs to raiders either. Uh, but this is very interesting. Let me know, console, what you guys think of all of this? Which of the changes you're most interested in? Definitely going to be doing uh, new showcases of all of the uh, five raiders. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I thought I was not crazy saying five. And I'll definitely check out these super attacks as well. So they didn't update any active skills or passive skills. So they just did super attacks this time, which is very interesting. But uh, this was a massive uh, update. So kind of crazy. Definitely a lot of stuff to check out here. Uh, I'm going to go drink some water. And uh, again, let me know, Constable, what you guys think of this update and the adjustments. Uh, like the video, enjoy it, and subscribe to the Arcane channel for more um, discussions and update patch reviews like these and i'll catch y'all next one take care safe have fun peace out dude